Thanks again for joining me. You're welcome. Uh, football um, so Eric, we're nearly halfway the season. Yeah. How do you view the campaign for Stoke? Uh, I think this season is the most difficult one of the four. Mm. Um, just because I think just we have too many games going up and down. Mm. So not too much to go against. But um, still, if you look go for it, still a good job. Because, yeah. Uh, considering the, the transfers, the money, uh, clubs being stronger every, every single year, especially now it's the top seven, I think it is. Mm. Top seven, eight is really, really strong. So, um, yeah, difficult season, but um, hopefully we can finish finish well and yeah, still in a good, good place. Yeah, um, do you have a particular highlight of this season? Maybe one match that sticks in your mind? No, no, just for me it's just I want to play every single game and uh, the only one that I disappointed that I didn't play against Crystal Palace because all they were going to play. Mm. So, mm. Uh, but I don't have a uh, specific match that's for me is yeah. special or stands out. It's for me it's just the, the whole season going to perform as stable as possible. Mm. And sometimes it's a good game, sometimes it's a bad game. So even when we play a good game, sometimes the game also looks like a really bad game. So yeah. it's like, uh, it's, after each other, so you don't say this, it's a really good game because we need to give that and respond to the really yeah. Good game, so. yeah, so maybe consistency. Yeah. Yeah. You were Mark Hughes' first sign. Yes, Thank you. You joined the club in 2013. Yeah. So what impact has he had at the club? I think he changed the way of, of playing with Stoke. Mm. Um, lots of people just saw Stoke as a rugby team, yeah. long throwings, long balls, and the first meeting uh, that I had with, uh, with the manager, he spoke straight away about chasing the game and uh, how, how he wants to play. Yeah. Uh, so it, it was a long way to go because if you used to type of play, uh, it's difficult to change, but uh, yeah, we're still working on that. I think you you have to learn. Uh, now we change systems sometimes, so it's it's, it's a part of a, a process where where we as, as a player manager are in uh, for the club as well. Yeah, um, you've been staying at the table then in each of your four seasons, yeah. so so when does your career go from here? Don't know. You never know who mm -hmm. is it. Um, I just wanna. Do my 100% best here at Stoke. Yeah. And if there are some things coming, I have to see. Um, one thing in football you are learning all these years is you can't predict. Uh, yeah. Things come um, like it leaves China now. Yeah. Uh, it, it's crazy. So yeah. You will never know what's coming, and uh, uh, the future will tell. Would you like to return to PSV one day, or maybe even your first club we select? Um, I, I love to finish as a manager. Because it's the club where it all started, they gave me the opportunity yeah. uh, to be a, a professional footballer. And um, of course, PSV, I, I, I played also like four years. Uh, but for me, where it all started, so, um, yeah. at the end of the career, I, I love to go back there. Yes. Great. Um, I would suggest your career so far has been a lot like former Aston Villa fullback, Paul Fukama. Uh -huh. um, you established off with PSV and you went on to become a permanent fixture at a Premier League club. Yeah. Um, was, yeah. Um, was he a role model for you when you were both at PSV or were there any other footballers perhaps that you always looked up to when you were growing up? I think when, when I was younger and was at Utrecht or I was at PSV, uh, we had a couple of older people, uh, Ander Oye, who played with mm. mm. um, And I played with Bomo, I played with, 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 with uh, Bauma as well. Yeah. Uh, but I had a couple of players at Utrecht as well when I was a youngster. Mm. The, all, the, all the people always had in my respect. Yeah. Uh, just feel because they know how, how, how it works in the business, uh, they have experience yeah. in the league and in all that kind of game. So I think as a youngster you have to learn and, and listen mm. to, to the old ones. And, mm. uh, even when they didn't have like, the best career for, for some people in, in, in their eyes, for me, the experience always counts more than, than, than the clubs where you should play, I think, of course. 
educate really close, get more experience and you can talk more about how it is on a high level, but still like experience you can't buy it, you have to experience it by yourself and I think when you have all the players in your team, I think it's an advantage because you have to So basically giving an answer to your question, I think all the all the players always where, where I play with uh, always be like kind of role model for me. Yeah. Always look up to them, seeing how they do, how they prepare for a game or things. So mm. yeah. So you get more experience if you help younger players yourself, less than my man. I think so, yeah, the, 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 no, I'm not the youngest anymore. Um, but still like I feel good and when, when the youngsters come through uh, I think it's good to tell them how it is instead of like accepting yeah. them and, and think they yeah. they have one good ball they think like with everything. Um, you have to learn how, how, how it is and um, it's, it's, it's hard to, to, to get on the top but yeah. maybe it's even hard to stay there and perform uh, consistently. Okay. Um, as a left back in the Premier League, you've gone against very talented opposition. But could you pick one player who's been particularly tricky to defend against? I think there are a couple. Um, mm. Premier League is the Premier League. So yeah. um, everyone knows bigger players are coming here. Uh, even though there's like loads of rumours as well. Um, but um, I think when I have to choose, I think when we played City away when Delta Silva came in. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's such a tricky player, clever yeah. player. Yeah. Yeah, his passing, his, his vision in, in, in the yeah. game is, is, is really nice. But um, I think every every top team here um, has has good wingers. Um, there's a chance for for fullback as me um, to perform against them. And I don't mind. I like the chance. I prefer to play against the best. Then. Yeah, you won the Dutch Cup with PSV in 2012. Yes. What was it like to win the final with that trophy? Nice. Uh, it's good to, to win trophies. Uh, as a footballer, you, you want to win as many trophies as you want, of course, and it has to be realistic. Uh, you, can't, you can't expect for us as a stoke uh, what Leicester did. Oh, yeah, um, So, it, of course, um, it, 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 it's, a, it's a miracle, but um, you, have to be, you have to look realistic to, to what's, what you can get. And uh, as a PSV, uh, we had a cup, but to be honest, we have to be champion yeah. and being very being close to a championship at all with yeah. the PSV. So uh, the cup, of course, it's, it's, it's good to to win that uh, win it at that moment. But uh, I think everyone at the club prefer to be champion than yeah. winning the cup. But still, you win the cup and as a prize, yeah. and I think it's important for 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 you as a player, but mm -hmm. I think also for the Great. Um, you're going to defending the Premier League at some point now, I think, because you can look at the stats. For example, you made the third highest amount of successful tackles mm -hmm. in the league, behind only Everton's Idris Ago and Chelsea's Ngola Kante, mm -hmm. known for their defensive abilities. So why do you think you haven't been selected for the Dutch national team in recent months? Uh, I have no idea. I think, to be honest, I still think that I'm a standard player, maybe. Uh, but you said I played this my fourth season now in the, in the Premier League. Yeah. Um, and I play at least 30 games a season. Mm -hmm. uh, so don't want to wait for a challenge or or something where we have the manager put me. But um, I think uh, I show myself, uh, show the people that I can handle the Premier League. So yeah. the reason that, that I don't have a call up, mm -hmm. I never had an explanation. That frustrating for you. You miss it. Yes, I know. Um, at one point, you you're hoping and you think you're doing you're doing a good way, you're playing good, and you're hoping for selection. In the beginning, it's frustrating because you, you want to be the best at your position, and yeah. uh, knowing that Premier level is is a good level to show what you can do. Mm. Uh, so in the beginning, yeah, it's frustrating, but then at the end, if you don't have a call a couple of times, you think that, yeah, why should I worry? So yeah. No matter if I play, if I score 10 goals and give 30 assists a yeah. season, probably I won't have a call up. Mm. So you just basically leave that behind you and just focus on your own game. I think that's the most important thing. And when it comes, it comes. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, 
the second manager now at the moment, so they're yeah. really busy and looking for people yeah. uh, to be touch manager, but um, there's loads of uh, managers, they had a chance to, to get a job like mm -hmm. Puma from Everton. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's, it's, it's not available, so yeah. uh, it's going to be a tough, tough job for, for them, but um, mm -hmm. for me I just keep playing and maybe in the future it will come, if not, yeah, no, it's I can't, I, can't, I can't be really disappointed about it anymore because, because if you hope it too much and you don't get it, yeah. it uh, it's getting in your head. And I just want to enjoy the game. Yeah. I will do it here because I play every game and yeah. I really enjoy it. So it's good. Fair enough. Um, you mentioned Kim then. Would, be, would there be any managers you would like to see yourself as a national team manager? I think the um, Kuman, the, the, the Dutch. Had a, had a really good chance to, to get yeah. Kuma uh, as a manager. I think everyone here uh, can see uh, and everyone knows Kuma is a really good manager. Yeah. Uh, Southampton did a great job. Yeah. Uh, now Everton is doing a really good job as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, uh, but that chance is over. Um, it's now Everton um, signed a long, long deal contract uh, with future plans. Um, so I have no idea who left to choose. Um, I think there's talked about a German guy who was a label. Schmidt. Yeah, Schmidt. Uh, but they also talked about Ten Kaat. Mm -hmm. But you know now, um, we just have to wait and see. Either. Yeah. yeah. One last suggestion I'd make is um, Harry Ten Hag. Yeah. The manager who's left. You're a Texas Porter. Yeah. Um, how about him as a national team manager? Do you think he has the abilities? Um, I think uh, I, I know Ten Hag uh, when I was at PSV mm. in Fredwood and he was assistant mm. manager. So, uh, and then he was already a, a good assistant manager at the yeah. moment at the point. Um, and surely now uh, I think he's fourth with future behind mm. the PSV final. Uh, I think he's doing a really, really good job. Uh, to be honest, I think he's enjoying it so much. That you won't leave you track for the national team, I think, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I think he's capable of, but I think when he can choose to, uh, the opportunity to do it, um, he, will be, he will need a good assistant manager as well. So um, I always like the combination of uh, Fredrik and, and, and Ten Hag. Mm -hmm. uh, they help me uh, develop myself, yeah. me as, as a person, yeah. uh, but also the in and outs of, of the football. And, they may be uh, international as well, so mm. uh, uh, yeah, maybe in the future they, they have another opportunity to do it. Yeah. But you know, I'll stay at Ten Hag and I'll, I'll stay at my club future. Yeah. Is there one piece of advice that Rutter and Ten Hag have given you that sticks in your mind all the time? I think the most important thing that you have to live for your, for your, for your sport, live, yeah. for your, live for your work. Yeah. For um, one thing is more important is, is, is family. Yeah. Um, I think that's, that's the biggest lesson that I've learned with him uh, because in his opinion he always came to me every every Monday after a weekend I sit down with him uh, and he talks talks about the game and he has to do this and this and it was so not, not annoying but like, like oh, come on, not again mm -hmm. not again but at the end now looking back at it again it helped me so much just not only talk about it but also see what you did good and what you did wrong. Um, but the most most um, important lesson that, that they teach us, not only me, but like the whole group, is just live for, for your job, do everything for your job. Or when something is wrong with your family, just to think that will be clear to the one. Yeah. So okay. I think that's a really important thing, I think, for everyone. Of course, you have to live for your job, for um, family. Uh, I think it's more more important when when it's something uh, there that you, you can't say no to. Okay, thanks. Um, and the last question I'd like to ask you: What are your ambitions for next season? I would like and I would love to see this club go even further than how we, how we manage now. Um, I think we are on a good way, but I think we need to get an extra step now, especially when yeah. the top seven is like. Coming away out there. Going, yeah, coming mm. higher and higher. Mm. It's normal. Um, 
know, everyone knows it's a different kind of money, different kind of players, different kind of clubs. They're all bigger, but if you want to keep playing in Premier League and want to make a next step, you have to, you have to develop as a, as a player, as a manager, uh, as, a, as, as, as a club. So I would love to see this club uh, go and make, make the next step. Yeah. Um, I think even next season uh, it's going to be harder to, to be in the top, top 10 again. So I would love, uh, I would love and, and be, be part of that step and, and make sure uh, we, we will develop. But what I said before, you never know what, what can happen in football. So um, it's future, and hopefully uh, for myself and for the club, we, we develop and make sure we have a bright future. Thank you. Thank you very much.